Hi, welcome to Breathe Better with Elizabeth. I'm Elizabeth. Today I'm going to go over different things that you should consider now that winter is coming. I'm going to start off with the cold air. So breathing in cold air can actually cause your lungs to constrict. It can cause bronchospasm. It can cause irritation. Your lungs really like the warm, humidified air. So one thing that you can do to kind of help with this is either wear a mask or you can wear a scarf over your mouth. That's going to heat everything that you're breathing in um, and that's really gonna help decrease the likelihood of bronchoconstriction. Now, as the temperatures get colder, we're gonna start spending more time indoors. So you need to take a look at your indoor air quality. What you wanna do is make sure that your Humidity is about 30 to 50% inside your house. Um, that's going to make it to where the air isn't too dry because if the air is too dry, it's going to become an irritant to your lungs. Also, when you turn on the heaters, you're going to start circulating dust and allergens, anything that's been sitting there. So be prepared for that as well. You want to make sure that you're cleaning regularly, dust regularly, washing your sheets regularly. Now, on top of that, you also need to worry about um, candles, fires in the fireplace, a wood-burning stove. These are all things that can exacerbate pulmonary symptoms, um, depending on what you have going on in your lungs. So now that we have the air quality, the next thing is that you want to stay healthy. Any kind of cold, flu, infection, if you have pulmonary disease and you catch one of those things, it can lead to a serious infection. It can lead to increased hospitalizations, um, which will make your lungs worse over time. So it's very important that you stay healthy. You need to talk to your healthcare provider about getting vaccinated for the flu and see if they recommend the pneumococcal vaccine. Um, these are things that are really going to help you out. If you are going to be going around a lot of people, wear a mask or just try to make sure that you're doing everything you can to keep your immune system up so that you don't catch something that's going to give you a big setback. Now, also, a lot of people I know that have lung problems, the favorite exercise for you is to walk because it is the best thing to do, honestly. But if you're trying to do stuff indoors, you might need to find some more things to do. So I would recommend yoga, pulmonary rehab, um, swimming is excellent if you happen to have access to um, a gym, maybe with an indoor pool. But you want to make sure that you stay active because if you don't, your breathing will get worse. So you don't want to just sit around because it's cold outside. Make sure that you are doing something. Now, on top of that, you also just wanna make sure that you're talking to your doctor, making sure that you're covering all of your bases as far as staying healthy this winter. Um, it's really good if you could start just kind of keeping a log of your respiratory symptoms um, seeing if anything makes them better or worse and taking that with you to the doctor when you go. Um, but other than that, as you can see, winter, it clearly poses some challenges for people who have breathing problems. But if you stay on top of everything, you can keep everything under control and hopefully you'll have a wonderful holiday season and you'll stay healthy.